Hello. Hi. This is one of my little inventions to keep the sun from just destroying me. It's bad enough. I'm in the desert all the time. The ego. Dun, 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 dun. First thing I'd like to say is the ego doesn't die. When you say there's an ego death, that's just a, that's just a fallacy because the ego doesn't die. The ego will always be there in here. You got the yin and the yang or the light and the dark. You got the balance. So just like when Luke went into that little cave when he was hanging out with Yoda learning some stuff and he faced Vader and killed him and then Vader's mask came off and it was him. So it's kind of like, you know, that kind of thing. See, I can start looking here. Okay. So basically the ego is running the show usually especially in low vibration human beings actors are great examples amazing examples of egos run amok totally first of all you make us laugh you make us cry you make us feel and we get excited and you do shootouts and car chases and you know, love scenes and tender moments and then you fuck off Tell them this how to live. Anyone else how to live. No. Not necessary. You are not necessary in that regard. And that's all I'll say about actors. Their egos are just bizarrely out of control. <clears throat> There's a few. I'd love to meet Keanu Reeves. That's maybe one actor that I actually believe I would not have a problem with ever. But other than that, yeah, I can't really think of anybody. Which is kind of sad. I love movies. But most of the great actors are dying off or dying, so sadly. But yeah, the ego will never die. So when you listen to gurus talking about the ego death, they're usually like um very wise man said, they're usually the biggest egotist of all, the narcissist. Wanting people to pay attention. Look at me. I mean, granted I want you to love me and look at my show and laugh and cry and all that good stuff. But I'm not telling you how to live. I'm not telling you who you are. Except that you're awesome. I'll tell you that all fucking day, baby. You're awesome. But the ego. The ego will do a lot of self-destructive things to you. If you let it run the show. And the ego don't like that. Like I said, my my demons, which includes ego. They're, they're in the basement, tied up. And they call me sir. And that's exactly how it should be. Whenever I... I was, I was like, you know, it's easy to get triggered, especially when your car's breaking down in the middle of the freeway and stuff, and you don't know what the hell's going on. That's a good trigger. But I, I kept my cool. I said, you're just going to deal with it. You know, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do, right? And that's important. So remember that. Don't let the ego run the show. You're amazing, for one thing. And the ego will do a lot of um, stinking thinking. It'll do, you'll, you'll get a lot of negative thoughts. Those are actually the ego. For some reason, it's like when the ego finds that you love yourself enough, the ego becomes irrelevant. Thus, the ego dies, but not ever in the sense that you're going to be rid of it. It's locked up and it's tied up in the basement and calls you sir or ma'am. That's basically how it works. You're always going to have the ego, but you can control it. You can, you can raise your vibration so high that the ego is just like, I keep trying to tell them they're a piece of shit and they're worthless, but they... Bounces off, right? Water off a duck's back, baby. Because you are that amazing. You're awesome. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about you. Far from crazy. Anyway. Anyway, I love you. And I don't care. I'm going to sit all day. I love you. How bad is that to get love out there, right? Isn't that what we all want? The song, the best songs in the world are the ones about love. They got love in them. It's just... Me and Mona. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Hope you like my ego video. Don't let the egotist and the narcissist get the best of you. Because another thing before I go, you're an empath. You're you're caring and wonderful. And the egotist, the narcissist, are like vampires. They'll, they'll sense you a mile away and then just... So be careful. Anyways, be very choosy about who you let in your energy, sexually, and everything else. Anyway, that's not what I'm saying about that. I love you. Have a wonderful day.